In this video, we see how Civil Fort Unified Identity Protection Platform protects against lateral movement attacks. Civil Fort is the only solution that can proactively detect and prevent lateral movement attacks in real time with either rule-based, risk-based, and pattern-based policies. Let's start with a common scenario. An admin uses PSExec to log in from his machine to remote machine. We also have an attacker that has already compromised a different machine in the environment and has also managed to obtain our admin's username and password. The attacker can now use the same PSExec command with the compromised credentials and move laterally to another machine. Neither Active Directory nor any security product can tell the difference between the legitimate connection made by the admin and the malicious one made by the attacker. We'll now see how Civil Fort prevents this attack in real time with a rule-based policy. Let's switch to Civil Fort's screen and navigate to the Policies tab. We have a policy called Lateral Movement Protection Admin Credentials from Non-Admin Machine. This policy is triggered whenever admin credentials are used from a machine that is not the admin's machine. In that case, credentials alone are not enough, and the admin will be prompted with an MFA challenge in order to access the resource. Now that this policy is enabled, let's reproduce the PSExec attack scenario. The attacker provides the same credentials as before, but connection is not established. Rather, the admin gets an MFA notification, and since he didn't attempt to access this machine, connection is denied. The attacker cannot connect with the admin's compromised credentials, and the attack fails. The ability to enforce MFA on command line access tools such as PSExec, PowerShell, and others is unique to Civil Fort and is a game changer in lateral movement protection. Since the first lateral movement attempt has failed, the attacker now uses Mimikatz to dump the machine's memory for additional users and credentials. We see a user called SVC File Manager, a typical service account name convention. Attackers go after service accounts because these accounts typically have high access privileges and are often overlooked by IT admins and security teams. The attacker also has the SVC file manager NTLM hash, so he now has everything he needs to launch an attack, and we'll now show how Civil Fort prevents this attack with a risk-based policy. This script uses SVC file manager to launch a pass the hash attack and connect to another machine. However, as we see, the attack is blocked and the attacker cannot access. Let's understand why is that. Civil Fort has a dedicated service accounts tab. We can see here our SVC file manager with a protection policy enabled that blocks the account access when its risk becomes high or critical. When we investigate the account, we learn that it is indeed in critical risk. Zooming into the risk indicator box, we see a suspected lateral movement resulting from abnormal authentication activity which should never happen in a service account and is therefore a critical risk indicator. This was an example of a risk-based policy. Let's see now Civil Fort's lateral movement prevention with a pattern-based policy. We go back to the Policies tab and enable the lateral movement protection pattern-based policy. This policy is triggered when Civil Fort detects authentication traffic patterns that indicate the use of a lateral movement technique such as pass the hash, pass the ticket, and others. Going back to the attacker's memory dump, we see that in addition to the service account, the attacker also has another username and its related NTLM hash. The attacker attempts to launch a pass the hash attack with this user credentials, but the user gets an MFA notification and blocks the connection. Navigating to this user's investigation screen and opening the risk indicators box reveals a suspected lateral movement as well as weak encryption protocol used. The weak encryption protocol is indicative of pass the hash technique. Whenever this pattern is detected, an MFA is required. These were three examples of Civil Fort real-time protection against lateral movement. Want to learn more? Schedule a meeting with one of our experts.